Oh, example 10. If we invest $8,000 in a savings account that pays an APR of 3% compounded monthly, what will the balance in the account be after five years? How much interest will be earned after five years? By all means, press pause and try that yourself. Press pause and try it yourself, see what happens. And then play the video and see if you get the same answer. Okay, I'm going to do it now. hope you tried it. Um, we got to remember that APR means annual percentage rate. That's the annual rate. Okay. The whole trick with this is to realize that we need a special monthly interest rate. If it's compounded monthly, we need a special monthly interest rate. Now, this cannot be 6%. You know, the bank is not going to give you 3% of your money every month, like, you know. They're going to take that 3%. So, and, and the, mon the monthly interest rate, you always, what you always do is you take your APR, your annual percentage rate, and you divide it by some number, N. And that could be, if it's monthly, that N is going to be 12. Uh, if it's, if it's uh, weekly, that n is going to be 52 because it's 52 weeks in a year and so on right and so you take your annual percentage rate which is three percent and you divide that guy now this is monthly so there's going to be um, an interest calculation every month so that's 12 times per year so you divide it by 12 12 months in a year right and plug that in the calculator to see what you get uh, well what's three uh, divided by 12 that's 0 0.25 of course and so we have 0 0.25 percent which is as a decimal 0. Point. so 0 0.25 percent is of course 0 0.25 divided by 100 right percent divided by 100 so it's 0 0.0025 so this is something you must make sure you get correct Get the, the monthly interest rate correct, or the semi-annual interest rate, or the weekly interest rate, or whatever it is. If you get that correct, then it'll start to work out. Now, we're investing $8,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the principal, okay? We're going to compound it. At the end of the first month, it's just 1 plus 0 0.0025, okay? And um, if at the end of the second month, you'd have a 2 up here. Right? At the end of the third month, this would be a three. But after five years, how many months is that? That's the other question you need to ask. Five years. How many months is five years? Can you do that one? Five years is five times twelve. What's five times twelve? Sixty, right? Sixty months and five years. And that guy goes up here because if it's in the if if this is compounded monthly for five years, that's sixty compoundings altogether, right? And then you calculate that. So the general rule is that we take once again we take the principal. We multiply it by one plus whatever the rate is, and this has this is becomes this is a special rate now, monthly uh, rate or weekly rate or whatever, and to the power of the number of compoundings. So it's the same formula really as annual percentage rate, only you've got to uh, as annual compound interest, only you've got to figure a new special interest rate and also work on the number of compoundings you need. So we just calculate this anyway. One point I can do one point zero zero two five, right? To the power of sixty. And you should get nine two nine two. So this thing sorry equals nine two nine two 
point nine three four etc which is approximately nine two nine two point nine three to the nearest cent okay what will the balance in the account be after five years it will be nine thousand dollars two hundred and ninety two dollars and ninety three cent how much interest will be earned after five years answer that one how much interest well we started with eight thousand we ended up with this so we just take that and we would subtract the balance right subtract the eight thousand and of course that's just the one thousand two hundred ninety two dollars ninety three cents right so we earn one thousand two hundred ninety two dollars ninety three cents now press pause and do this one what will the balance in the account be after eighteen months what will the interest be earned after 18 months? So same thing, only a different number of months, right? Press pause and do it. Okay, so again, I'll do it now. I hope you try to press pause. You start with the principal, the 8,000. You multiply by 1 plus the special percentage rate, and we calculate the monthly interest rate was the 3% APR divided by 12, which was 0.25% or 0 0.0025. Turn it into a decimal. And then you got to figure out the number of compoundings. That goes here. That's the uh, exponent, the number of compoundings. 18 months. How many compoundings are we going to have if it's 18 months? And this is interest compounded monthly. Take a guess. How about 18, right? Interest is going to be compounded 18 times, right? So that's correct, and then we calculate that. So this calculator want to work now all of a sudden? No, it doesn't. Weird. Okay, sorry. So um, we go 1.0025, and then you can put that to the bar of 18. Press enter and get your answer like that. And then you can multiply that by 8,000. Okay, that's another way of doing it. So you can just do your exponents, add these, of course, to get the 1.0025, do the exponent on that, and then times it by 8,000. Anyway, that should give us 8367.8. Etc., or approximately, we put it here approximately $8,367.75. Okay, what's the interest earned? What do we start with? Started with 8,000, so the interest earned is anything over 8,000, in this case, it's 300. Sixty-seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Okay. Now, example eleven, and um, before we move on, I just uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I just want to quickly go back to the the heading when we're compounding interest, and I hope we've done enough examples where you can see um, the the formula. Um, but uh, basically, okay, well, the first thing we'll do is we'll just go over this. Semi-annually means twice per year, okay? So if, if interest is compounded semi-annually, just so you know, that's going to be two compoundings. Per year, okay? So if it's compounding semi-annually for 10 years, so in fact, let me, let me ask you this, uh, what would the number of compoundings be in 10 years? So if it's semi-annually, you've got two compoundings per year, so how many compoundings in 10 years. Tell me. Semi-annually. 
20 compoundings, right? If it's quarterly compounding, how many compoundings per year? Four compoundings per year, right? Does that make sense? And how many would happen in 10 years? If you're compounding quarterly for 10 years, how many compoundings would that be altogether? That would be 40 compoundings, right? Compounding monthly, how many compoundings per year? 12 times we will compound interest per year. 12 compoundings per year. And if you compounded monthly for 10 years, how many compoundings would that be? Just for fun, just for an example. It would be 120, right? Weekly, how many compoundings per year? If you calculated the interest and added, it, added on interest every week, how many compoundings would that be? Would it be 52 compoundings per year, right? And if you did weekly compounding for 10 years, how many compoundings would that be altogether? Would it be 520, right? Okay, so just to give a general formula for compounding interest like this, um, once again, it's the you can write down again it's the principal, right? Like the 8,000 or whatever we had times 1 plus the special interest rate. You've got to calculate what that is depending on the situation. And then to the power of however compoundings will be done. Okay, so if it's like weekly compounding uh, for 10 years, so if it's weekly comp compounded weekly for 10 years, you're talking about 520 compoundings altogether, right? For example. And of course the interest rate, um, you take your APR and divide by something. Like if it's monthly, you divide by 12. If it's quarterly, you divide by 4. If it's semi-annually, you divide by 2. You know, so it depends on, or weekly, you divide by 52. So divide by some number, and depending on uh, what type of compounding you got. So hopefully the examples have helped you uh, realize this is not this is not too bad. So let's look at example 11. We're going to do three different types of interest on the same account. So we're going to invest a, invest a $10,000 in the savings account for 20 years that pays an APR of 4.5% annual percentage rate. How much interest will the account earn if it pays simple interest? Press pause, calculate that. See if you can remember how to do that. Okay, I'll do it now. Hope you press pause and tried it. We've got to figure out um, the simple interest is interest on the balance, on, on the principal only, okay? So what we get is the, for one year, So annual interest on the principal is all we get for simple interest. It is 4.5% of 10,000 and we calculate that, right? So that is 0 0.045 times 10,000, right? Which is? four hundred and fifty dollars right and we're going to it's going to be twenty years so what happens with simple interest remember is you get that every year and you could just flip back to example one if you don't remember but on example one you can find mine up, 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 up. here we go so like example one, we invested $1,000 at 6% simple interest for four years and we just got an extra $60 every year. Okay, So every year you just get the same amount of interest. So every year for 20 years, 
we're going to get four hundred and fifty dollars. So we're going to get after the first year we'll get four fifty, right? After the second year we'll get nine hundred. Uh, well, we'll get another four fifty, but we'll have nine hundred altogether, and so on. After the third year, we'll we'll have another four fifty, thirteen fifty, right? Anyway, we'll keep getting an extra four fifty each year. But the point is, how much interest do we earn altogether for twenty years then? Because we get four fifty each year. Four fifty times twenty, right? Which gives nine thousand, and that is the amount of interest that the account will earn. So the answer there is $9,000. Now of course the balance of this guy would be 9,000 plus 10,000, right? You got to add the initial amount. So the balance of course would be 19,000 just so you know on this account, right? Um, how much interest will the account earn if it pays interest compounded send me annually? The APR is 4.5% and it's going to be semi-annual uh, interest, right? So press pause and try, I hope you press pause and try that, press pause and try it. Okay, I'll do it now. The trick is you must figure out your special semi-annual interest rate. If you figure that out, then you'll be halfway there, I think. So the semi-annual interest rate, again, is you take the APR, the annual percentage rate, and divide it by some, some number, right? Depending on the amount of compounding you're doing. So the APR is 4.5%, and it's semi-annual, so that means how many compoundings per year if it's semi-annual? Two compoundings per year, right? So 4.5% over 2 gives 2.4.5 over 2, 2.25, right? 2.25 percent. And what's that as a decimal? 0. Point what? 0. Point 0. 0.0225, right? And so this is our special semi-annual interest rate. So what we do is we take our principal, 10,000, Multiply it by 1 plus the special rate of that we just calculated, 0 0.0225, and figure out the number of compoundings. How many years? Twenty years. Multiply that by how many compoundings per year? Two, right? So 40. We're going to do 40 compoundings per year. Do you agree with that? 40 compoundings per year. And so that 40 goes here, right? And then we calculate this guy and we have the answer. And that should be 24351.889. Or approximately, or sorry, approximately $24,351 cent, 51, and sorry, 89 cent we round up. Okay. So, Press pause and do the next one if you can. How much interest will the account earn if it pays interest compounded weekly? Try that one. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to do it now. The most important thing is to start with the special weekly interest rate. My goodness, that's got to be small, right? If you had a weekly interest rate of 4.5%, then all would be uh, all would be funny, wouldn't it? Anyway, weekly interest rate of 4.5%. You take the APR, whatever that is, and divide it by, you know, the number of compoundings per year. So if it's weekly, that's going to be take the 4.5% and divide it by how many weeks in a year? Divide by 52. 
Now what does that give? It's got to be a funny number, right? 4.5 divided by 52. Oh yes indeed. Big, long, crazy number. And um, that's still a percentage. Um, so uh, to be even smarter, I'm going to write that 0 0.045, turn this percent to a decimal, then divide by 52 just to Okay, and so the weekly interest rate is 0 0.000865385 uh, is what the weekly interest rate is. Okay, so you know, a lot, lot of digits, but it's a small number. And so we have the weekly interest rate, and so we take our ba our our principal of ten thousand. Multiply it by one plus the interest rate zero point zero 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 eight six five three eight five and find the number of compoundings. Now it's twenty years, right? How many compoundings per year? How many weeks in a year? So we're going to calculate interest um, every week, right? So we take the 20 years, and so it's going to be like 52 in one year. After year one, it'll be 52 compoundings. After year two, it'll be 104 compoundings, and so on, right? After year three, 156 compoundings, right? So after 20 years, multiply 52 times 20, and that would be the answer, wouldn't it? <coughs> 1,040 compoundings. I just saw my mistake from the last one. This is not 40 compoundings per year. This is 40 compoundings altogether, right, over the 20 years. But you probably saw that. Sorry, I'm a little bit sick right now, actually. So this is 1,040 compoundings altogether, because it's 20 years times 52. So 1040 is what goes up here. And you calculate this, and there's your answer, right? So... Um, we can do that 10,000 times 1 plus that or point zero 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 eight six five three eight five, and then to the power of 1040 and then press enter and eventually your calculator might give you this um, 2 4 Five eight six point four seven. Okay. Um, what's another way of doing this? Another way of doing this is to put in your ten thousand, and then times that by um, one plus, and inside parentheses you could put your um, zero point zero four five over 52, right? And then you could put that to the power of um, 1040, okay? And that would give you the same thing. In fact, 46 cents. So in fact, a, l a little bit more accurate would be 46 cents here, right? So I'll just write that out. So another way of calculating that would have been 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.045 divided by 52 parentheses, so if you can do a one line calculation with your calculator, that's all well and good, to the power of 1040, right? And that will that might be it, so you don't have to type out the decimal, but it'll, you'll get pretty much the same thing. So, um, how did these things compare? With simple interest, we ended up with $19,000, so we got $9,000 in interest, okay? With Interest compounded semi-annually, we got $24,351.89. With interest compounded weekly, this is all at 4.5%. Weekly interest, we got $24,586.47. So how does it all compare? These three numbers. 
these three numbers. This is the balance each time, the balance. 19,000, then this one, then this one, right? Well, the compounding certainly beats the simple interest, it seems, right? By a good $5,000, so that's, that's something. Um, is it much better to be compounding weekly than semi-annually? Like every week? as regards every six months how much better is it well this is 324,351 this is 24,586 so it's about 300 and or sorry 230 dollars better about that right a little bit more not too much what is the interest here the interest is 9,000 with simple interest compounded semi-annually all you gotta do is subtract 10,000 subtract the balance and we get the interest here being fourteen thousand three uh, fifty um, uh, I'm just going to round this nearest dollar three fifty two round it to the nearest dollar uh, the interest here uh, compounding weekly subtract ten thousand and of course we have fourteen thousand five eighty six about to the nearest dollar okay so now we can compare the interest earned in each account. Nine thousand dollars with simple interest, fourteen three fifty two with semi annual compounded, and fourteen five eight six with weekly compounded. Right?